waitress is suing her former employer after uh, she was essentially fired for refusing to wear denim pants because of her religion. Now, this is a Pentecostal woman who uh, told her employer, hey, I, I'm not allowed to wear pants. So instead of wearing denim pants, can I wear a denim skirt? The employer didn't respond back to her and then after her first day just fired her. Now the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission announced that it has sued a Georgia Blue LLC which has restaurants selling Southern and Creole food in four Mississippi cities. The federal lawsuit said that the Mississippi based company failed to reasonably accommodate the religious beliefs of Katoya Watkins who told a Georgia Blue manager that her religion prohibits her from wearing pants. And so I think this is, I mean, I think it's a pretty clear case. Just let her, just let her wear the skirt. Like, <laughs> who cares about your stupid dress code? I like, know, but they care. I don't think it's that clear. I think this is a really interesting issue. I think it's super clear. Okay, she is not a doctor who says that she doesn't want to wear latex gloves because it's against her religion. It's she's a waitress. Okay, it's not, her wearing denim a denim skirt. First of all, no one's gonna notice and no one's gonna care. No one's gonna go to that restaurant and say, you know what? Everyone is wearing this uniform except for that one woman. She's wearing a skirt instead of pants. Who cares? Who cares? It's but, not that but important. They care. They care, and they think that 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 is. They, that's part of their. This isn't a Hooters, right? You know, right. no one's gonna come in expecting. No, no, a but you, I got it. But the people who run a restaurant, you, you you're allowed when you run a restaurant to make your staff wear a uniform, right? Right. So we, we acknowledge that, right? That they can they can have you wear a uniform. I mean, it's a little crazy that here a woman wants to wear a skirt and that we're having a backwards argument here, which amuses me. But yeah, I mean, they they Jenks right. They they do care, and it doesn't matter whether they're right about whether it really is something worth caring about. Sure. They've designed a style to their restaurant in a way they want their restaurant to be, and they want, for some reason, they want all their wait staff walking around in jeans. I, I, I would argue that religious liberty in this case is much more important than your dress code. Right, like your dress code, it doesn't it like you got to do cost benefit analysis, like weigh the issue. And in this case, I believe that her religious beliefs are more important than your stupid little dress code. Yeah, and by the way, that even though they wouldn't quite phrase it that way, <laughs> the the courts do actually do a balancing test oftentimes. Yeah, and so you're technically correct that they would, and they might come out on on, on the side that you're on. So, but. Lots of twists and turns. I think Pentecostal religion is nuts, but I think all the religions are nuts. And so I know you, you <laughs> no, and I. Just, no, no, no. This was beside the point. If she's Pentecostal, she was wearing a skirt at the interview, right? <laughs> like, they're consistent. Yeah. She got hired and then fired a day later. I don't know that they could have saved themselves a lawsuit, but mm -hmm. I mean, they probably got, a, got sued on, for failing to hire her because of her dress code. But this just seems. Ridiculous and completely un, like it avoidable. Does, it does yeah. seem it does seem ridiculous and avoidable. Like, <laughs> okay, yes. so look, uh, I, I think why do you have to wear a skirt? What are, like religions are so nuts. Okay, no, no, God wants you to wear a skirt. It's, I think it's not that you can't wear skirts; it's that you can't wear pants. No, no, <laughs> I know that's what I'm saying. There it is. No, that you have to wear a skirt. God's like, oh, uh, you got a woman wearing pants. Man, I am that wrong Fashion Week statement. Okay, you're not making it into heaven. Insane. Okay. Anyway, it's not to critique the religion, know, like critique okay. the No, no, the I know, I know. I'm just, I know. I'm starting out with that. Like, I don't agree with her religion at all. Okay. <laughs> Having said that, I love that the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission protects religious beliefs mm -hmm. because I'm an American, and as agnostic as, as I am. I believe in the First Amendment and I believe your religion should be protected. Mm -hmm. So the question is, where do you draw the lines? Because to Ambria's point, if you're working at Hooters and you come in as a Muslim and say, I'd like to wear a burqa, yeah, it's I can't, no, no, that's not what we do I at mean, Hooters. But, but I, I, exactly, and that's, that's the, that the business same? model. It is a fundamental component of their business model, Hooters, it's in the name, okay? So <laughs> they, want, they want the titties, right? So Georgia Blue, I think it's blue, I mean, I do, I think it's blue jeans. Right, Georgia blue. Okay, but you can wear a that, denim skirt. Right, she, it's a it's a it's, it's an iteration denim. of denim. It, it is an iteration. <laughs> it is. <laughs> And it is pretty stupid. This is pretty stupid. And so right. long as it doesn't interfere with her ability to be, she's they not a FedEx a driver. She's not. It's it's purely aesthetic, which I feel like is also problematic, right? Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, so, I, I, whatever, <laughs> restaurants have that. Like every restaurant has their right. dress code, but you're right, it's purely aesthetic. And so if it's not interfering with her ability to do her job and do it well, then I, I feel like it's not important, right? So I'll give you a comparison where I think um, you know religious liberty, it, it's weighed differently. So um, we've talked about this before, like um, a Muslim cashier at a grocery store who doesn't wanna handle pork. Well, you're working at a grocery store, homeboy or homegirl. Like, you, sorry, like you're gonna have to handle pork. You're gonna have to handle. It's, it's part and parcel of your job. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I agree with you. I was gonna use the same example. So that that I think is clearly on the side of no, then you can't do this job. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's cases that I think are equally clear. McDonald's allowing a yarmulke under their whatever thing that they're wearing these days, or even a, a Muslim headdress that doesn't really interfere with the uniform that much. Uh, Rastafarian, mm -hmm. uh, it's still fine, but you put it in a net if you're working in food. Right. So I think those cases are clear. That's why I think there's an interesting case because it's kind of in the middle. Mm. Uh, but but you, if we were all judges here, you guys yeah. might convince me that it's <laughs> on the side of yarmulkes <laughs> under your hat well, look, as we, opposed to. If we apply yeah, the touchdown yeah. rule, which is the what Jank and I like. Just let Jank and I decide in the NFL whether it's a catch or not, because we can tell. Like it doesn't <laughs> matter whether it hits the ground. We're like, I oh, know, come on, man, he caught it. He caught it. He caught it. Just yeah, stop, yeah. stop quibbling here. I don't know what he may have moved. It, it's he caught it. Link to offer that. So <laughs> no, no. So they should. So if you let us apply the, for all four of us apply the the that rule, the rule would be, oh, for the love of God, let her wear the skirt. Yeah, let's right, right, let right, her wear the skirt. And let's move on. That's what the just thing is. I just mean. The, the restaurant it gets to make their cockamamie rules. Mm -hmm. I would like it if there were seven other restaurants on that strip and she could just go work sure. at Bennigan's and get the same <laughs> amount of money. But if this is a job she wants, and then then I'm probably going to come around to, you know, the, it's crazy that you can't wear jeans. On its face, crazy. Your religion is crazy, and I would include that in my judicial argument. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd tell him to let her wear the skirt. If you like this video, you'll love the whole TYT network. Check it out at tytnetwork.com/slash/join.